in a separate place. One, this is draught cylinder, this is iron focus, repeller, this is iron focus, this is entrance lens and now this is your iron body. This is also a ceramic part, we will keep it aside. Okay. So now what we need? We need this aluminum oxide powder for cleaning the iron source. Again, we need this cotton buds. This cotton bud is also present in the GCMS toolkit. You see, cotton buds are there. Quantity is hundred. Okay. So we are using this from our toolkit, and this part is also coming with the new GCMS aluminum oxide. We will remove a small quantity of. We will take a small quantity of this aluminum oxide powder. Take out five six birds. So now we need to make a paste out of this aluminum oxide powder. So I am pouring a small quantity of HPLC GC grade, HPLC or GC grade acetone. You can use ethanol also instead of acetone and some people also use uh, water also but preferably I would recommend to use acetone or methanol so it evaporates very easily just make small amount of paste keep the rest powder like this only and we will be using this paste which we have created for cleaning the iron source okay so one by one we will take these parts so this is your iron source body you can see this part has turned completely black so we will just take some amount of this aluminum oxide powder paste and rub it so the thing is that we just need to rub it by pressing our hand we we cannot do it like this like this but we have to press our hand and then rub it so that it gets removed okay luckily this iron source which we have Remove now it's not that dirty. This is the only portion which you can see which is which has turned black, but at the same time some of the contamination is not visible. So we need to clean all the parts properly if we are cleaning the iron source. Okay, you can see as I am rubbing this, the black color is disappearing. Okay, you can see. In the source body now we are cleaning the drought plate with the drought cylinder so you can see this portion is having brownish tinge so wherever there is the path of the ions you can see some kind of contamination there although it's not so visible but I can clearly see that there is some kind of contamination similarly this is your repeller so at present it is shining and it is not that dirty but still this surface we will be cleaning this is your iron focus at present there is no contamination but usually when when the iron source is contaminated at this particular point you will find that there will be some kind of black spot but at present is not there in this particular source similarly this is your entrance lace particularly in the entrance lace this part gets contaminated and this path also requires to be cleaned properly so uh, overall we will be cleaning the complete parts completely to avoid any kind of contamination that is visible and not visible. So we have cleaned all these parts and now uh, I am going to add this part also in this. So total 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This part we don't need to clean much with the 
aluminum oxide powder but when we are sonicating all these metallic parts we can also sonicate this part so i'm keeping this also so all together we have six parts now what we have to do we have to go to running water which are already clean in this beaker i have taken approximately 150 ml of uh, acetone you can also use methylol instead of acetone but right now what i will be doing i will be taking all these parts one by one and rinsing this in a running water okay so we have to remove any powder aluminum oxide powder particles which are there so that's why we are cleaning all these parts in running water after cleaning these parts in running water just place them in acetone one by one use your finger the gloves to remove any powder which is present there after rinsing it make sure to see to part in water we have clean all this part in running water and kept it in acetone now we will uh, use sonicator to sonicate all these parts 15 minutes in acetone 15 minutes in hexane and then 15 minutes in methanol finally then we will be fixing it so now we are going to move to the sonicator and sonicate it in three solvents one by one cleaner our water bath we have already kept some water inside it and after this this all these parts which are present in acetone we will be placing in this sonicator and we will increase the time so 15 minutes we are going to set it